Hi Aries, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the reading of uh, the 4th to the 10th of May 2020 and if you're new, welcome, please subscribe and hit the bell then you have a choice, click on all, otherwise you won't get notified and welcome back to my Cyber Angels and thank you very much for your support and your shares and likes I do appreciate it very much you make this channel just as uh, combined with me of course and the cards and if you are new you can become a cyber angel as well when you join us in the live sessions and it is absolutely wonderful in the live sessions it's peaceful and I love the way my cyber angels are respectful, helpful and supporting towards each other. It's amazing. I'm using th uh, four decks this week, um, three oracle cards and a tarot cards and they are the wild unknown tarot and the healing uh, power of the angels. They are in Dutch but it doesn't matter, a picture says a thousand words and I'm using my crystal ball. I just cleaned the crystal ball before I started taping again and I'm going to start turning the ball and see what the ball says for you. Okay, here we go. Wow. There's loads of clusters in this ball. I'm seeing a letter B and H, B and H. I'm going to note this down. So that's for you, B and H. Okay. Now we also, I also see a butterfly in here. So it could be transformation. The butterfly is just there. Um, the butterfly might mean transformation. Um, so you might be in a transformational period and you could also be uh, feeling rather strange this is the transformation taking place within you you might have different thoughts than usual you might do things differently um, you might not take the things uh, that are pri uh, pri that have priority uh, but you might be taking the second stage uh, second priority things and do them first it's like you are changing the way you think or the way you act and the way you do things. I also see a quarter, a quarter. Now what is a quarter? This could be a coin, a quarter of something, or a quarter of time. Perhaps you might work three quarters of an hour and take a quarter of an hour um, out. So a quarter, something with a quarter. Um, these are things that I'm seeing. So we'll see in the deck what is coming out of the cards when we read the cards. I also see that some things aren't very clear at this moment for you and that you have all kinds of scenarios. You're thinking, what if I do this, then I can do that. You are already trying to analyze um, things before they happen. Take it from me, it is okay to plan, it's okay to dream, it's okay to have goals, but make them realistic because usually when you make plans they never come out. So if you do make plans, then make plans for the best scenario if it doesn't help uh, what you wish for and make an other plan so that you are not uh, feel, feeling let down if it doesn't come to fruition and remember you have to come into action uh, to make your plans or wishes come true so if you want a job you have to go into action to look for a job then go to the job interview that is all that I mean by action you need to take action to make your dreams or goals come true so get clarity get the right information like if you would like to have a job as an engineer what kind of engineer would you like to be? Would you, um, which company would you like to uh, work for? Would you like to be uh, away on the road? 
um, or would you like to work in your village or your town or your city? Those are all kinds of questions that you can ask yourself to get a clearer picture so that you're bringing this vast idea or thing that you're wishing for to a more concentrated center. And from there you can start um, minimizing the list so that you're getting to a core. And I do see a core, but I also see there will be a point that you might have two choices. You might have two choices. And uh, also, if you if it's a, a business or if you uh, you want to start, then see what kind of business. Perhaps you want to bring in two things into the business. Perhaps you might want to. Uh, have a partner, a sleeping partner, or an active partner. Okay, um, that could be an issue or a situation, a choice as well that you might be coming up against. So I uh, let's see what the cards are going to say. I think some of you will have a new job, but then uh, have a look uh, at which company you want to work for. Find out also the in, uh, information and history of the company when they started, who's the CEO or the director. Um, this is your first card and you have the Ace of Pentacles. New job, boom, new beginning, financially, something materialistically and long term. And this one came out, a partnership, two of cups. And I'm taking one from the bottom. The Ace of Swords. Victory. Justice. Wow. Meeting a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarian. Okay. I'm taking the most... F that's out. The Daughter of Swords. The Daughter is the Page of Swords. Okay. And this is your bottom of your card and you've got the eight of ones the eight of ones news traveling well i did say do you want to be on the road i'm it's i'm getting warm again hold on i've got to stop the video it's working again sorry about that aries if you hear the ringing uh, somebody just phoned me. My lines are always open whether it's to the other side or skype or messenger <laughs> anyway, um, let's get back to the cards. Your ca the first card you have is the Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, there might be a new job going. You know, what comes out, comes out. So the, there is something new beginning. So there is a new beginning, either in a job, in a home. You might be moving home because you're expending the family something that's durable and for long term. It could even be a relationship with a Virgo, a Taurus or a Capricorn. You might be meeting one of these actually, uh, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. That is at the beginning of the week and in the middle of the week you have the Two of Cups and look at those roses the Two of Cups. When I first got this deck I thought it was uh, be beautified ones, but it, take it from me, it's the Two of Cups, as it's also two. Okay, So you might be forming partnerships in love or in work. And I think I said that in your... Yes, two choices. Two choices I said in the crystal ball. And partner partnerships so wow so that's already coming back you will be in emotional balance though Aquarius okay perhaps if you go back to the beginning and you look or listen to what is being said when I'm reading the crystal ball I'm not I don't look at the cards first you saw me shake the cards so this is what came out okay so Wednesday you might be forming partnerships, you'll be emotionally balanced though, and that could be with a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisarium. 
at the end of the week you have the Ace of Swords. So if you are in a judicial uh, situation, Aries, then victory is yours. Victory. And you've got the eternity symbol on the sword. So there will be clarity, justice for eternity and victory. There will could be new communication as it is the Ace of Swords. It could be a new study as the swords also stand for wisdom. Okay? A new study, new information. Wisdom. Clarity will be here. A new beginning could be a new job as a butcher, as a. Uh, um, uh, not, yeah, chiropodist. I'm getting chiropodist. A surgeon, uh, somebody that cuts, could be a new beginning as a hairdresser. You might be partnering up as a hairdresser in a salon, or you might be working for yourself in a salon, but uh, the owner is also a partner. Okay, something like that. Could even be anything that's cutting. Okay, could also be a teacher, a lawyer, a judge, uh, somebody with wisdom, could even be a banker. Okay, uh, somebody that's professional advice. Then you've got the daughter of swords. That means you're getting news. This could be news from a young person, as, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This news will come through telephone, text message, or email. Something will become clear, you, but you have victory. Ooh, uh, the news is flying around your ears. Wow, you've got the Eight of Wands. Do you see the difference? The swords have the cross, the handle, and the wands are just sticks or twigs. Awesome. So you might be going on holiday, planning a holiday, because we're in lockdown. But the uh, boundaries are opening up. You will be getting news. This is also cyber news because the arrows are flying through the air. Now look what you've got underneath that. You've got the um, wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune. But it's upside down. So it might be stalled. But again, it means holidays. Something is coming full circle. And circle does not have an up or a down. Okay, but this card is upside down, so something might be delayed. Travel might be delayed. Okay, perhaps you have to wait a quarter because you, we had also the word quarter or one fourth of something. Okay, you might be working, for example, you might be cutting time by a quarter. So if you are working. Uh, 40 hours a week you might be cutting 10 hours that's a quarter something with a quarter you are in a transformational period because something is coming in where there is a beginning there has also been an ending okay so you've got two new beginnings two ones the angel number is a uh, that is one once is a door opening door to a new beginning okay You've got also the two number two here in Roman numerals, and that's like a one one. Okay. Ooh, big changes, sudden changes, because in this um, deck you've got the lightning striking, so it will be surprising news that's coming in. Okay. Now the um, healing power of the angels. That's the card that I'm using. And look at this. It looks like a clock. You've got the sword. That's Archangel Michael with the sword. And you've got all the months. And it's it's uh, pointing towards the 12th. So that's, I think that might be Sagittarius. That's Gemini. I'm going to check it out. Hold on. Sorry about that. But if you can see that sign, and I had to look, that's not my usual sign for Capricorn. Everybody draws ev uh, different, okay? So that it looks like a seven. You've got the little head and then it goes whoop in the circle like that. So it's a Capricorn. He's got the point of uh, the sword pointing towards Capricorn and Capricorn is not the 12th house. Pisces is the 12th house 
um, and December is um, the 12th month in the calendar so I don't know Some, the artist must have meant something with all these signs it's the whole zodiac okay it says um, the light the divine light the white light the light of life and the light of the divine and the universe so all the signs are together that's the depicted the third eyes depicted and all kinds of of buildings more like um, Indian uh, temples Hindu temples so um, it's coming towards you it is within you the divine light look at this also near the solar plexus in the throat and the third eye so be happy be thankful with the like you're protected by the infin infinite and that your hands be open to receive set the intention um, number 25 is 7 so luck is on your side but you might also be dealing with a Capricorn a Capricorn okay so we've got the earth signs here that's Capricorn Virgo and Taurus then we've got the water signs and that is Cancer Scorpio and Pisces and then we've got the air signs Gemini because this is a person's card and this is the uh, also a big important card like the ace of Pentacles so it could be a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius so something is important um, I'm taking all the signs with me but what is prominent here is Capricorn is a earth sign and this is Capricorn so that is very important you could be dealing with a Capricorn or um, and the page of swords that's the daughter of swords um, the page is um, Aquarius so it's either a Capricorn or an Aquarius it could be a cusp because we've also got a two here alright and then next to each other and two is also Aquarius the second month of the year so think things through so that's the first quarter could be important okay because we do um, have also Pisces so actually we've got Capricorn Aquarius and Pisces that's the first quarter now do you see how I'm trying to connect things together I hope you can okay now that is uh, uh, that's lovely actually it's coming together it's nice but be thankful that you're uh, you are part of the universe and that the divine is protecting you okay and remember set the intention open your hands when you meditate or sit quietly like we do in the life and we do our breathing exercise then put your hands like that open to receive you can see the magical def uh, white light the magnet light shining throughout the universe that's what this artist is trying to pro uh, pro project and you've got from the Archangel Michael deck you've got protection of yourself strong shoes so strong shoes is stand in your strength Archangel Michael has a gift for you a new pair of shoes visualize wearing them when you require extra strength courage and protection remember you're protected you've got lots of yellow so that's the golden card you're shielded that's the shield okay your angel uh, card that is the blue angel feather card and the blue angel feather card is accept life as it is just um, I want to get your stone so you can um, you can also uh, wear a stone so accept life as it is the angels are here to advise you that you will feel a calming inner peace and peace of mind when you stop trying to control everything in your life like I said with making plans you know make also an, a, a second plan 
for when something doesn't come to fruition. It might have been uh, Aquarius that I've said that to as well. The blue angel feather is present to you as a symbol of contentment. The angels would like to understand that when you develop the ability to go with the flow, you become fully present in every moment of your life by trusting yourself to go with the ups and downs each day and by trusting the angels to support you through your life you will experience a new sense of tranquility this new sense of calmness effectively allows more positive things to come to you the crystals that you can wear is in the indigo light blue tourmaline kyanite blue calcite blue quartz lapis lazuli that's just some of the blue things that you can wear stones gems or you can uh, eat blue fruit drink blue f juice or wear blue and it's more of a darkish light blue and remember the blue is also the color of service and I don't know whether I've mentioned it but the earth the earth card means that you are with hands on hands on you're not uh, you could also be uh, well read or wisdom you could be a teacher uh, passing on your knowledge but you can also be a bookkeeper a lawyer a judge somebody that works with the mind but I think uh, being of service then you would be a lawyer a policeman they wear blue as well Do you see how far you can see just listen to your thoughts this is what's coming up in into me okay I love this reading it's magic even if I say so myself I might be a bit long sorry about that Aries but I hope you've enjoyed it take care and take from it what you can if it doesn't resonate with you look at your moon sign or your rising sign be safe and stay healthy and be protected and please like and share with family and friends